Hey guys, welcome to Tales from Amy's Crypt. Today we're going to be talking about a creepy little urban legend from Belize, the Tata Duende. So I first learned about the urban legend of Tata Duende while traveling to haunted places in Central America. You can check out some of those adventures on my channel where you should also subscribe. But back to Tata Duende, which translates to the elf. So the Tata Duende is described as a mythical creature, kind of like a gnome, a gremlin or a goblin, something along those lines. He's supposed to be protector of everything in the jungle, including all of the animals. Um, he's said to be a creepy little guy, about three feet tall, really old looking, uh, wears a distinctive hat and animal skin, which is kind of weird since he protects the animals, but hey. He also has backward facing feet and no thumbs. I was able to find one really cool article online uh, that shows images of the Tata Duende supposedly caught on camera. They're really, really interesting and cool to check out. I've linked that below. I have also found YouTube videos that show the Tata Duende caught on tape. That one's linked below too. So I first learned about this legend in Belize where it's uh, thought to have started and the legend to have originated. They really celebrated as well. They even had the Tata Duende on a postage stamp, which I think's pretty cute. Uh, the urban legend has spread all through uh, Central America though. You'll even find it um, in a few neighboring countries. I did uh, learn about it in Nicaragua, which was pretty cool. Different uh, versions and variations obviously, but they pretty much all state that the Tata Duende is a mischievous little spirit. Uh, a lot of farmers will blame him for things, you know, weird occurrences that happen on the farms. Uh, main one being horse's hair mysteriously getting broken which is a bit weird but he's also fought to move things around and just play little pranks on them too. So probably the most gruesome aspect to the Tata Duende legend um, which is also my most favorite because uh, parents tend to tell it to their little kids to scare them is you're warned if you ever come across him in the forest to hide your thumbs. Now because he has no thumbs of his own I don't know if it's a jealousy thing or what but if he sees that you have thumbs he's said to come and bite them off. <laughs> It was pretty spooky, but I like that they tell it to kids. For those of you who are fans of the TV show Destination Truth, the Tata Duende legend has actually been featured on there. Uh, now they speculated that maybe the sightings of the creature could have been sightings of spider monkeys getting mixed up. Spider monkeys are native to the area and apparently they have uh, slightly turned back feet and similar characteristics like I guess they kind of look like little old men. Unfortunately I didn't have any personal encounters with a Tata Duende during my time in Belize but who knows maybe next time. If you are from Belize or a neighboring country I'd love to know your thoughts um, or anything that you know about the Tata Duende please leave me a comment below. For everyone watching this is a new type of video that I'm trialing on my channel. Um, I'd really love to know your thoughts about it in the comments below. Please share them with me and if you want to learn any uh, more information about creepy urban and legends, ghost stories or haunted places that I encounter on my travels around the world, please like, comment and subscribe. But as always, until next time, stay spooky.